welcome to Learn to Paint with Scarlett. That's me. Today I am painting two little bun buns for spring. Um, I've chosen colors that are spring-ish, so a light baby pink and a light baby blue. And I actually wanted to, or planned, to make these bun buns light and kind of soft and, and very um, fluid in the painting. But by the time I got done, you'll notice that they're quite detailed and defined and fluid is definitely not a word I would use to describe these little guys. That being said, um, this is a really, really great subject to paint because they're wrapped in um, in a kind of a tinfoil metal, plasticky metal kind of cover. And the way the cover captures, of course, it's bent and it's uh, folded in all these different uh, angles and such. So the way that it captures the light gives you really nifty uh, shades and shapes and highlights and details. So I like doing things like that. I like doing anything that's that's um, full of detail and kind of interesting to the point of being almost strange where um, where there's so much that while you're painting you don't really know what you're painting you're more painting shapes inside shapes than just painting one object so what I've done is of course I've gone through here and I've written in exactly what I'm doing as I'm doing it that's the text that you see at the bottom so the basic idea when painting something like that, or pretty much in most of my painting styles, when painting something really detailed, is for me, I like to work from dark to light, but I like to, uh, to mask off my lights first so that my whites will be preserved, and then later, as you just saw, I went back with a wet brush and uh, went over it with a wet brush in order to activate the fibers under that paper and also um, to move some of the paint around so that there, the lines aren't quite so harsh. So after I've done that, I lay down my, my foundation colors, which in the case of the blue is actually a little bit of bluish pink is my foundation colors. And in the pink one, there's the pink is the foundation color. I have chosen to do blue as the highlights on the pink one and pink as the highlights on the blue one. And I did that on purpose. It's very subtle in the little blue bum bum, um, but I did it on purpose to, to give you that feeling that they're a pair. Um, also because if they were sitting next to each other, the highlights from one or the color from one would be reflecting in the other. So I like to start with my darks first, my details, and then build up from there. And that doesn't mean, like you can see, it doesn't mean darks across the board. Nothing that I'm painting here is going to be completely flat. All those under layers are, being, are, are coming through. So there, you can see them just a little bit. So every time I put a new layer on top, I'm only covering the layer below maybe 50, 60, 70%, but not completely. So that it creates this, this um, dimension or this feeling of depth. So the blue one, the blue one looks pretty good at this point. And I've chosen to go on and work on the pink one now. The pink one, um, I'm just starting off with, with the darks. Now I'm not going with the darkest darks, but that is where I'm starting to work, putting down the a wash on top of where the darks are gonna be. And then here adding in some, um, some shapes. So whatever shapes I see, even though the shapes might make no sense at, at while I'm painting it. In fact, looking at it, I'd be like, well, that's just gonna look weird, this this odd shape right in the middle of this little candy. But once I put it in and I add more and I add more and I add more, they all start to tie together. They start to almost communicate with each other and they fit. And you can see how these strange shapes create more of a 3D effect. It rounds out these little candies. Um, later, I will do, I will do the darkening on a little bit on the edges. Um, to help it come pull away from the paper. And here, of course, we're back to the blue, or we will be in a second, back to the blue, adding in more contrast, uh, building up the layers, adding in more darks. So I'm continuously painting on top of the darks and then adding more lights and then painting on top of those in order to make the darks darker and keep the lights as beautiful as they are, or the whites as beautiful as they are. Now this looks like final details, but I suspect it's probably not. <laughs> so in the, in the world of paints, let me just quickly tell you, I used Brilliant Red Violet number 940 to schminky color on the pink one. And I also used Scarlet Red number three, 363, I believe that is there. 
Um, on the blue one, I used Ultramarine Blue, uh, number 496, a little bit of Paris Brew, number 491, and let's see, a little bit of Halo Blue Reddish, number 478. And I think that was all. You know what, there might be some Halo Turquoise in there, number 475 as well. I just laid those colors out on the side and then went back and forth. And, and you can totally see my palette, like I really did not use a lot of of color to do that. Here I am finally putting in my finishing touches. Um, the brushes that I used were number zero two, number two, and for adding in the whites I used number four. And these are Maroni brushes. I'm thinking about painting crystal or glass or something that has lots of highlights and shadows. It's so much fun to capture these. If you enjoyed watching me create these fun little candies, uh, do let me know in the comments. Tell me what you love to paint. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little quick tutorial or quick speed video slash tutorial on my fun little blue and pink bonbons. If you did, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. I've got lots more fun things coming. You can always find me on Instagram, on Tumblr, on Behance, and a few other crazy things. There's a list here somewhere. And I will see you in the next video. Toodaloo!